together. So I'm not putting black men down, but sometimes it's like, well, some of you Kevin Samuels following Tariq Nasheed quoting people, please look at the truth and see what's happening and get in line with some of the black women. Vote Democrat. But Hey, what's good, y'all? So I came across this segment that was on MSNBC with Tiffany Cross, and she had three guest panelists on. She had Roland Martin, Terrence Woodbury, and Cliff Albright. And the topic of discussion was black men could be the turning point in the Georgia elections coming up in November. I want to give the three brothers that was on the panel a lot of credit. We have Cliff Albright, Roland Martin, and Terrence Woodbury. And I ain't gonna lie, I know a lot of people don't like Roland Martin because he's a mouthpiece and he always talking yabba 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 for Democrats, but this is not that, because Roland Martin actually gave the best game during this whole panel. So what I want to do is first, I want to play what Roland Martin said prior to what Tiffany Cross said. Then I want to play what Tiffany Cross said after that, I give you my opinion about what Tiffany Cross said. So I'll put the full clip in the description box so you guys can check it out in its entirety. You mentioned Hillary Clinton. Terrence talked about Obama. We have to take this thing back a decade. Mm -hmm. Okay, why am I wearing this shirt? It's my alpha shirt. First of all, we all right. vote, but here's why. Black men are the second most loyal voting bloc of the Democratic Party. Who's number one? Black women. So let's just be real clear who black men are voting for. In 2012, there was a nine point gap between black men and black women, Obama Romney. So people try to make this out to be about totally sexism. That's not true. There were two men running and black men. Black men were not happy with Obama. They felt he Why? should have done more because on the issue of economics, yeah. on criminal justice and those things along those lines. And so what then happens? You go to 16, now it's a 13 point gap. You go to 20, now it expands. But here's a race people ignore and Terrence knows this as well. Tom Tillis, the architect of voter suppression in North Carolina, was getting around 18 percent uh, as well. Why? Because Democrats That's were right. ignoring that constituency. Black women also organized and mobilized to force the Democratic Party to pay more attention to them. In many cases, black men within the party have not actually done that. So what you're seeing are black men who are saying, you're not paying attention to me. You're ignoring what's happening when it comes to economics. You're ignoring me when it comes to the critical issues. And so what the Democratic Party has not done is create a specific strategy to target those individuals because it comes down to numbers. Warnock beat Kelly Leffler by less than 100,000 votes. And so if you're the Democratic Party and you're, to you're just ignoring these numbers, what did Terrence just say? You are ignoring the potential to win. You should be trying to get every vote. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it out here because someone has to say it. The fundamental problem with the Democratic Party is that white strategists are controlling the money, mm -hmm. are controlling the strategy. Yeah. Yes, African-Americans are having input, but if you're trying to win, you better listen to black people. You better fund these initiatives. Otherwise, you're going to lose. And that gap yeah. is going to widen. So he broke it down in the, in the best way you can. He broke it down the best way you can. Like, yo, you see a pattern. You see a pattern going here while you keep ignoring black men. Keep ignoring black men. Keep ignoring black men. You keep ignoring a group of people. Of course, that group of people is going to start pushing away from you and start pulling away from you. Like, all right, I don't need this no more. Let me see what else is out there. At least these people here may do something better than you doing. Now that I'm not blindly supporting you no more like I used to. But now you heard what Roland Martin said, right? And like I said, Terrence Woodbury, Cliff Albright both had great talking points. So hit the hit the link in the description so you guys could check it out for yourself. But Tiffany Cross had to come back and say something on top of that. So let me play you what she said after what Roland Martin said. Check this out. A legitimate point here. Um, I will say, you know, th th a lot of black men sometimes feel like they're ignored or they're put down, particularly sometimes even by black women in the media. So this is not that. But I do hear Roland's point that felt ignored. But you feel ignored and then you go over to the other side. The oppressed feel oppressed. So then you go and try align with the oppressor. So I'm not putting black men down, but sometimes it's like, well, some of you Kevin Samuels following Tariq Nasheed quoting people, please look at the truth and see what's happening and get in line with some of the black women is majority. So you Tariq Nasheed quoting Kevin Samuels following men need to get in line with black women. Like I said, I'm not sure what the strategy is. <laughs> and I'm, I'm glad I left this thing on pause because you see um, Mr. Albright and you see Mr. Woodbury, they got a little smiley face. Look at Roland Martin. 
if you guys may or may not know, Roland Martin and Tariq Nasheed has been going at it on social media for quite some time. And he knows, I believe in my heart, and I could be wrong. I think Roland Martin knows that that right there just diminished everything he said. All the great talking points he said, it diminished it. And not to mention, now that she said that, and now she's not talking to, but she's talking at a, a specific group of people, they're going to wipe their hands of you. Because I, I, I listen to Kevin Samuels at times. I, you know what I'm saying? I see some things that Tariq Nasheed post, and I agree with some, I disagree with some. But for you to talk at people, saying get in line with a black woman and leave those type of minds alone, you you definitely lost. And I, I say this, man. I'm definitely going to say this. When it comes to Georgia and it comes to um, Stacey Abrams, I truly believe that Stacey Abrams knows she's going to lose this election. I made a post about Stacey Abrams put a, a agenda for black men and it was trash. And the same day I put that post out, she come out saying that the baby's heartbeat in the womb is not a heartbeat, it's a manufactured sound. It's like they sabotaging it and Stacey Abrams is done with this election and she's looking at the finish line like, all right, let me finish up with this election, get this over with. And I could become more of a um, a personality, right? More of a public figure than a politician. Because, you know, she probably wanted to be a politician to make changes. But now I think she realized, one, you know, she do have a lot of support in the Democratic Party. But two, black men is not blindly voting for Stacey Abrams. You know what I'm saying? Like Roland Martin said, the gap was getting wider and wider between the black men that's voting Democrat and the black women that's voting Democrat because they felt like they're being ignored. And Stacey Abrams is ignoring the black men. She said it herself. Check this out. Why why are politicians so afraid to say that they're doing something especially specifically for black people? Like they use the the, the cloak of poor people and people, the under, of people of color, the underprivileged. Why is it that you can't just come out and say, I'm doing this for black people because black people need it because so many things have been done to us Still throughout the history yeah. of this country. Nothing so many things us. have been done to us, but very little has been done specifically for us. Why do you think that is? Because African-Americans represent 12% of the population. And so if you are a traditional politician, doing the math you think if i name this group i am going to lose other people and i can't get if every single black person voted for me this may not get me what i want so let me make it vague enough that other people don't get offended by helping oh if that's your approach to black men or black people why should black people just blindly support you and tiffany cross come out and saying this black men need to get in line and just follow black women and leave alone Tariq Nasheed and leave alone Kevin Samuels, how, talking at people is not going to get you anything. It's not going to get you nothing at all. And like I said, I'll pull this back up so you can see Roland Martin's face. Roland Martin looks disgusted. Like, come on, man. Like, you really took it to that level? Like, you took it to this level right here? Like, I, I, I mean, I could be wrong, but you know what I'm saying? You see the two brothers right here? Mr. Albright, Mr. Woodbury, they're like, yeah, but... Mr. Martin is like, nah, I ain't with that. I'm not, I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Because you're talking at people. You're not talking to people. But yeah, man. Um, don't follow black men. Follow black women. That's the new democratic policy coming from Tiffany Cross. Let me know how y'all feel about this in the comments, man. I appreciate your time. I meet you guys down there so we have a conversation. All right, man. Till next time. Peace. Real Rap Ron is signing off. All right. Later. One.